Well, today I'm going to show you another pretty cool looking bean I think you might get a kick out of. It's called the Purple Teepee. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, friends. This is a another bush bean I'm going to direct sow in the garden today. It's called a, a purple teepee bean, and this one takes about 60 days to uh, produce. It has a, um, let's see if you can see that, it's got a little purple flower on it, and the bean pods are actually really, really purple. Pretty cool looking. So uh, this is just like your regular old snap beans, only pretty exotic looking. So we're going to give that a try this year and have some fun with it. Okay, we're ready to go out to the garden and uh, direct sow our, um, our seeds today. And I always do my direct sowing the same way. The first thing I do out in the garden is I'll use my four inch deep cultivator and I'll cultivate each row, one row at a time. And once I get that cultivated ground done, it's nice and fluffy and soft, then I'll grade it out with my grading rake and smooth out all the little holes and dips and wrinkles. I smooth it out where it's nice and smooth. Then I'll take my guide string and I move it over on top of that row so I got a perfect row because I got to have it straight. I can't stand it if it's not straight. <laughs> so I get that string out there and I mm -hmm. take my little stick and it's a, nothing but a two by two. And I walk down that row and I pop little holes in so I have my ho holes all in a line. Then I come back with my super duper seed dropper. Y'all have all seen me use it. Nothing but a piece of one inch PVC and I put that pipe into that pipe right in the hole and I drop my seed right in the top and it goes straight into the hole and I can just move it hole to hole and dropping in my seeds saves a little bit on my back because this is what you get to look forward to when you're old you can't bend over so great especially if you're fat so you want to try to use anything you can do to prevent bending over as much as possible so once I got the seeds in the hole, I'll simply go back and collapse that hole and pat it down real quick. Just barely tap it and um, we'll water it in and the next thing you know, got something to eat. So we'll uh, go out there and get this put in the ground and we'll uh, watch the uh, development of these, these plants as they mature state all the way through their stages. We'll see the beautiful blooms they put on and the fruit and then we'll actually harvest it. Let's get saddled up. Well, we got them purple TP beans sowed. We're looking forward to pulling off some purple snap beans. This is pretty cool. So uh, let's take a look down. I only put in two rows and you can take a look down these two rows right here and you can see that they've popped up and we're going to keep our eye on them in the weeks ahead and uh, watch these things as they mature. So we'll be back in a couple weeks. Well, here's our purple TP uh, beans. They're, uh, they're off and running. They got some good traction, got beautiful blooms, nice purple blooms on them. And, uh, and man, when you see them flowers come out, it ain't long after that, we'll be getting some beans out of these. And um, these are kind of cool because they start out purple and then when you cook them, they turn green again. But it'll be fun to harvest them. So come on up and take a quick look at them. Up close, you can see the, um, hopefully you can see the flowers on this shot here. We're looking at just loaded with them and uh, beautiful purple blooms. So it doesn't take much longer and uh, they'll be producing the beans. So we'll be back in, uh, in the days ahead and we'll, we'll take a look at these when it's time to harvest them and pull them off the, the bush and wash them up and take a look at them. So we'll see you back soon. Well, good morning. As you can see, these two rows of purple TP beans are, man, they are ready to come up. And uh, they've made a beautiful bean. And I want to um, come up and let's, let's take a real close look at this one and see what they look like. Here they are up close. Aren't they cute? 
nice dark purple we'll come through here and we'll we'll pull off these big ones and if you'll notice on the top of these plants you'll see little purple flowers blooming all on them and they've also got all these beans so these things you can pick and uh, come back in you know a couple of weeks and pick them all again so you get several harvest out of them and they're a beautiful bean a lot of people call them magic beans because they're purple like this and they're green on the inside and when you um, boil these they start off purple and they magically turn to green that color right there so the children they get a big kick out of the magic beans if you want to get them interested in in the garden and vegetables and stuff it's a good way to show it to them as call them out as magic beans so let me get these um, harvested up and I'll meet you over at the um, processing table and we'll clean them up and take a good look at them Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? We got us a nice pile of these little beans to, to, to share with our neighbors and friends. Nancy's got some friends of hers at work she's gonna share with. Now, if you've never grown these, these things will uh, harvest again. I'll, you can get another harvest, maybe about 25% of what we just harvest here off of that same couple of rows. So uh, you can either harvest them all at once or you can harvest the bottom and, and let the tops grow out and get them a second, second go round. So we hope you've enjoyed watching uh, uh, the purple TP bean on how to grow these little, these little things. They're really fun bean to grow, interesting for the children. If you wanna try to get your children interested in gardening, these purple beans, that'll get their attention especially when you cook them and they turn green again and uh, they're magic and they like this right up a kid's alley sound like it right up my alley too don't it <laughs> anyway it was a fun it was a fun uh, video to do with you if you like our videos i hope you'll uh, subscribe to our channel be a part of our youtube family and uh, also you can follow us on facebook if you want that's a fun social media as well so until we see you next time, always remember, buy us hands, we are fed, give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it, it would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.